All right, guys, so we're going to start with a warm-up, quick warm-up before we uh, get to playing, so everybody get the horns up. All right, maybe contra F, just a nice contra F. If you don't know what that is, you're going to pretty much essentially get on contra F. So you start on contra F and you go down chromatic. Alright, so I'll give you, I'll give you every note. Alright, so, ready? And. Let's do it again. I'll give us a quick count and then I'll let you guys go from there. 
what should we play? We're going to have a concert B flat, a concert D flat, and a concert F. All right, so let's do it again. Now comment the notes that you, you were playing before. <laughs> Try it again and see, and see where, where, you, where you feel you are. So does everybody play the, the same chord, the original chord, B flat, D flat, and F? Right. Try it again, try it again. Try it again, everybody, at the same time. flat chord.
Uh, do you guys have one down? Let's go back and review. What's the one thing we noticed that, um, from today's lesson? The one, the one thing we noticed from today's lesson was that you don't always need a conductor to give you guys time. You guys don't have to be so dependent on having a conductor. Just always look for each other's cues. It's not, not all the time you can have a conductor. Say if you're doing an ensemble set, you're doing a solo, or you want to do trios or duets, you have to always have a conductor. So it's always good to get used to the habit of listening across, you know, getting used to it. Even help, and helping your partner. Like you see the person next to you gets lost, maybe get some eye contact to kind of help them get the guy back in, or just, you know, if you're playing straight notes, you maybe change the rhythm to make it a little bit easier to follow. I guess that's pretty much it for today's lesson.